Well, this is the Hacker Trick 07, and today I'm doing a little video tutorial on a trick that will allow you to take a crystal clear picture of your login screen background. Now, a lot of people, you, you'll see those people who develop themes, etc., etc., and they show backgrounds, or they show pictures of their login screen, but it's not usually the camera. It's like this right here, where it's crystal clear, you know, it looks like the computer took a picture of itself, but you can't really do it manually. So I'll be showing, showing you guys a little trick on how to do this. Now, what the trick is, is actually going to replace the action center. So you see this little action center button in the corner here. Um, many people don't use it. It's actually used for uh, on-screen keyboard, voice narration, talking. And what we do showing you guys how to do is, what happens is we're going to replace it. So when you click on it this time, after this video, it's going to allow you to say, it's going to take a picture of what you see. So to do this, guys, I didn't develop this uh, idea. I just found it on the internet and I decided to share it with you guys. It was coded by a man named IT Geek 2011. Um, I give this guy full credit. He has a great trick, great idea. So you guys can download it in the description below. So to do this, guys, we're gonna need to uh, have all the files right here, which you guys can download one big file, one small file, sorry, in the description below. Now open up your uh, Windows 7 drive. If you guys like the theme that I'm currently using, you guys can download it from the description below. Sorry, you can go to a video and then you guys can download it in the description below. It's a completely transparent theme, guys. You can see it's pretty cool. But anyway, so go to open your Windows 7 drive. Go down to the Windows folder. Then go to System32. And then scroll down to the Use. And then you should find one called U Tailman. Right here. So you guys can already see I've already done it. So what happens is yours won't have a seven. Um, I've already done it twice. So that's why mine's like that. But you, just for example, guys, I'll be showing you guys how to do this. So I will delete my old one. So what you need to do is you're going to need to take ownership of this file. Now, if you haven't edited any folders inside of System32 before, or or you tell me in, in general, odds are yours is not. Odds are you don't have ownership of it to take uh, to rename it. So what happens is when you try to rename it, it's going to say um, you do not have the correct permissions. So to, to bypass that, we're going to open a folder called Take Control, which is in the download guys. Open up Take Control with with as administrator. Then go to add, and then copy your address from here into here, and then you guys can just type in util, and it should say, oops, util.exe, and it should go right in there. Now from there guys, all you have to do is hit take control, it should take a couple seconds, there we go. And now you have full control over it. So now go to it and rename the file. So give it an underscore backup. So now technically guys, it won't work. So now if you go to your login screen and try it, it will not it will not work because there's no file for it to load it. So now we're going to take our util man. And we're going to paste it in the system32 folder. So now that we have there, guys, now we have basically successfully um, in installed it. So this is the end of this part of the video. I will have a tablet recording the next part, and I'll be showing you guys how to easily run it. Now, if you ever want to restore it back to the normal, all you got to do is go to util or delete the util man, and then go to util underscore backup, and rename that to util man without the backup and the underscore. And then it's back to normal again. So that's what it for this part of the video, guys. I'll be showing you guys how to run it using my Android tablet. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys. So now we're back with our uh, login screen. And now, so in order to take a picture, guys, what we'll do is we'll go to the bottom left-hand corner and click the Action Center button. Now, when you click on it, odds are you're going to get the following error right here. Now, if you, what happens is if you get this error, you won't have your normal locations on the, on the left side. Now click OK to dismiss the error. And then my suggestion is to save the file 
into your Windows 7 drive, which is the default location already shows. So you can get the file name, so for easy purposes, I'm just name login screen and click save. You won't have to replace it, I already took a picture. Now guys, you're done. So now you should be able to log into your computer, go through the start menu, and enter my computer, click on the C drive, and by typing L on your keyboard, it should skip you down to, right there, the login screen at BMP. Now I click that, and you guys should see a crystal clear picture of your login screen. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, thumbs up. Again, the download will be in the description below. If you guys have, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can uh, message me on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. And besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.